With over 2.4 million records dating back to 1637, ProQuest Dissertations and Theses is a great place to find not only the papers of colleagues and professors, but also academic research in general. If you know exactly what you're looking for, it can be tempting to enter the title in the search bar and expect the first results to be what you're after. However, by default, ProQuest searches the keywords provided in all parts of every document, so for more brief titles, it can be hard to pin down the record with just a quick search. An easy way around this is to edit where the database searches for the keywords. You can do this by using the drop-down menu to the right of the search bar under Advanced Search. Another useful thing you can do here is if you can't remember the exact name of the text, you can also search by author or institution. For more broad searches, the toolbar on the left side of the screen will be a big help. Here, you can narrow a topic down by limiting the date, subject of the article, language, and more. Narrowing by subject is especially useful as it gives you an idea of what the bulk of your results are talking about and lets you pick out the ones that you're more interested in. For example, if I'm interested in civil disobedience and how it has played a role in American history, I can narrow accordingly. A thing to keep in mind as you're browsing your search results is that unlike other databases, ProQuest doesn't display subject terms or parts of the abstract at first glance. So if you've seen an article that you want to know a bit more about, you can click Preview to the right of the page. This will bring up the abstract along with some subjects discussed in the paper, making it a great tool to quickly decide whether or not the paper is relevant. For a majority of the records in ProQuest dissertations and theses, a downloadable PDF will be readily available after clicking the title of the paper. However, occasionally, ProQuest will catalog publications that the database itself does not have access to. If this is the case, an article linker icon or a link to full text will pop up. Clicking these will search for the full text elsewhere in the library's databases, where you will be brought to another page containing the PDF, although occasionally, USC won't have access to the paper at all, in which case you can request it through interlibrary loan to have a PDF emailed to you within a couple of days. A couple of other useful things you can do through ProQuest are cite and save articles. To cite the paper, just click the cite button to the right of the page and find whatever format you need. As far as saving goes, you have a couple of options the quickest being to just email the paper to yourself for future use. If you're doing a lot of research and have a lot of dissertations you're interested in, you can click Add to Selected Items to add the research to a folder at the top of the page. This way, instead of having to email every article to yourself, you can just email a folder of a bunch of articles. If you need any more help working through ProQuest, join a librarian in chat on the left side of the screen, or feel free to reach out to us at libraries.usu.edu.